Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today I want to show you how to make a glitter bubble. This is so much fun. And then look for the other video, the companion video, which will show the whole centerpiece that we're making. But for this video, I'm just going to show you the glitter bubble. So we have here the bubble balloons and we are using the 24 inch bubble balloons. So these bubble balloons, when you pull it out, they have a moisture pack because they need to have a lot of humidity in order to stretch. They're gonna inflate to be fully round with no, no wrinkles in the seam. So you can just toss the moisture pack and the package, and here we go, this is our bubble, okay? So it's a, it's a thin plastic, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a funnel, and we're just gonna kinda open our bu bubble and stick our funnel into it. All right, now's the fun part. Okay, so I have these little tiny vials of glitter. I got these from Walmart, and they come in a multicolored pack with 12 or 14 in the pack. In this case, my event is only shades of blue, so I'm only using all the blue ones. And actually, I do use these vials over and over and over because it's a good measure, and I just fill it, refill it with fine glitter. So all we're gonna do is we're just going to take our little funnel open up our glitter container and dump it in. What I'm going for is not a complete coverage. I don't want the, the glitter to be like so thick that it's like a solid dark blue glittery balloon. What I'm looking for is the sparkle and like the patches of it in this particular centerpiece. And you'll see what I mean later because we're actually gonna be putting lights on it and then those lights bounce off the glitter and it's just so much fun. So, so, so much fun. Okay, so so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of putting my finger in there and kind of scooching the glitter out of the funnel and into the thing. Okay, so here's the challenge with these bubble balloons is they don't have an auto seal. So you have to do something that's called spin tying, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But now the challenge that we have is that we want to inflate this thing without the glitter getting inside the pump. So we're going to turn the air on. And it's going to be hard to hear me, so I'm going to stop talking for a minute. Okay, now like I said, these bubbles, they don't have any wrinkles. You inflate them until, they're pr until the seam is, um, is uh, smooth. All right, now, here's the hard part. You see how I'm kind of spinning it? And I don't know if you can see how it's like like twisted up. And so then I'm gonna take my ribbon. You want, you want to make sure that you're always spinning in the same direction, of course. And I'm gonna wrap my ribbon around. And this is a pain because it's like this itsy bitsy tiny little neck that wants to fall out of my fingers. And you gotta, be, you gotta do it really, really tight, and you gotta go fast. I actually held it for too long so that the air is not gonna seep out. And so what I usually do is, you know, because I'm paranoid, so I usually do it a couple of times. And I'm sorry for like, you know, the schwitzy, you know, I'm not exactly camera ready. We're actually prepping a job. This is what real world looks like. So I apologize for not being like all glamorized and, and all of that, okay? So you see how I'm just kinda like spinning it like this? and getting that tight seal, and in a minute I'll show it to you what it looks like. Ah! And it broke, cause it sucks. Okay, no big deal. I just need that other piece on there. Uh, one, just to make sure that it's not gonna all come off because, it, because the ribbon broke, and then also because I'm gonna need to use it to tie it into the centerpiece. So, let me just tie this again. I love it when I'm shooting a video and then everything goes wrong, you know? Which is usually the case because, you know, what better time is there for things to go wrong than when you're on camera and people are counting on you to do it right. Okay, and so now what we want is we want to create some static inside. So normally we don't want static with balloons, but in this case we do. So what I have here is I have a microfiber cloth uh, that I usually use to clean my glasses. And I'm just going to take this cloth and create some static here by rubbing in circles. And you see what that will do is it kind of makes the glitter stick to the balloon. And you could also just do it like with your hand, get some heat going and build up that static. So 
So we want to kind of go around this and there's no high float or anything like that. There's no glue in this. We're just using static. And I tested it. Maybe you want to show this video, this one real quick, just the top part of it. So that one is two weeks old already. And that glitter is still sticking up there. So once you get the static going, it, it does stick very well. And you see, like, I want to create these little, these little glitter pockets. I don't, I'm, like I said, I'm not going for a total all over look because what's going to happen is when, here you can kind of see it. I don't know how well you can, how well you can see it on the camera because it's, uh, it's really kind of an in-person effect. <laughs> and we'll take some video of the whole thing after, after the event or before the event, I should say. But once the lights are on it, and to the human eye, it is amazing. It is so gorgeous. And if you really want it like that more solid look, then you would probably want to put about half a cup of glitter in there. I'm only using probably about an eighth of a cup, I would say. So you would want quadruple that amount if you want it like a real solid all over, all over coating of the glitter. So it's kind of it's kind of hard to see with this one. And this is kind of what the finished effect will be. I don't want to sit here. Uh, you know, for 10 minutes rubbing my balloon on camera. But there you go. That is the glitter balloon. We'll show you the whole finished product later. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure that you drop me a comment. Let me know what else you want to learn. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Tell everyone you know to subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Tell everyone else to like this video. Go get my books on Amazon. And until next time, go forth and balloonify!